And we're back. Yeah, we're back for round two. Uh, it's going to be Greg Smith on 12 Drakes versus Ulrich. Uh, I'm not, I, again, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. I always butcher it um, uh, on Teamer Pod. So I assume that's the Teamer, um, Teamer deck. And then he's playing the new Birthing Pod creature. I don't know the name of it. Me neither. Um, again, I suck at this. Yeah, um, like, I, I, the new cards, like, I'm just not familiar with a lot of the names. Um, it's just it so does. much so it, fast to try to try right. to remember everything. It's just birthing pods. Yeah. At sorcery speed only, which meh. Mm. meh. But if you have fun speed. playing, I guess. I mean it's a like, good deck. Yeah. It's fun to play. I don't see it beating Greg. I don't know actually know the Yeah. So we'll see. Um, the outcome like, of this I one. I believe Ulrich's gonna be on the play here. Um I see some lands, I see the frilled mystic. Killing Phoenix. I think he's going to mulligan that hand. I think. Greg looks like Greg he might keep that. Uh, it looks good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean. Is that the. I don't actually know what to. Okay, I see. You can um, barely see. He's got a lot of land, though, for sure. Yeah. Greg's going to take forever to shuffle here. Oh. That was quick for Greg. Yeah. He likes to switch hands back and forth and pose, apparently. Right. I'm going to keep, see a keep from Ulrich here. I believe at this point that Bottom, means that Greg, yeah. Greg has kept. Um, so we're going to see a shock. Shock into elves. Seems okay. I mean, All right, gets a level four a off play. the top. Another elves. Do we see him play it? No, we're going to see him play a growth chamber guardian and an yeah. elves. Okay, seems good. Um, He's off to a really good start. And yeah, here comes the lava, lava coil, coil for that. Yep. yep. And there you go. Easy, easy game right there. Yep, and then here's the birthing pod creature. Still don't know the name. But it does stuff and things. I still can't even see it. Can you see it? I can't read the name. No. Right now, but. So we're going to see, I think that was Shock Shock on the top. Maybe. Shock another card. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Let's see. When he goes to put him back. See what order he puts him in. Oh, there's a charge of course. And I see one Crackling Drake in hand. So he puts the Shock into the yard and draws a Shock. That's fine. And I like how I tell all these players that, hey, there's an inch on the on each side of these play mats that can't be seen by the... And they like to put all their stuff there so yeah. you can't see half their shit. I, like I, I tell them, like, hey, just don't put your cards in that, like, inch. That's where everyone puts their cards. They love to be rebels, yeah. Greg. And Ulrich. I mean, half his deck's off the screen right now. Well, yeah, but at least you can see it. At least he put the eggs out Until cards he puts the rest of the graveyard. And then yeah, we'll be able to see that. Elf beats... Always good. Right, so 18 all right now. Plays another land of war. Go ahead and kill the land of war so. to go get. He, I assume he's getting a growth chamber garden yeah. in here. He definitely needs an answer to this, or he's just going to continue to get swamped here. Right, yeah. He, he, Greg does have charter, of course, for. Is that, I can see. I don't think it's. Yeah, I don't think he's got yeah. another dispersal. Uh, that's a growth discovery. chamber. Is that a growth chamber? No, that's the. Um, that's the O2 to. O2 girl? Yeah, the one that adds three mana if it has yeah. a counter on it. Yeah. Okay, so he's just trying to get more mana here. So he's missing land drop, so that makes sense. Um, but I don't know how much I like grabbing that when you know he has the shock in hand, because he did just dr yeah, show you that he drew it. it. There it is. Bam. Yeah, uh, Growth Chamber is also a 2 2, though, right? Like, And then he's going to beacon bolt the um, pod here. Play another pod. That's fine. Um, Greg here is probably going to play Gregly Drake. It, assuming he has one. I thought he did. No, he doesn't. Oh, I thought that was. Okay. No. Oh, it was another. Uh, it's another discovery okay. He's got a lot of ways of drawing, though, so Greg's not out of Oh, discard a land to beacon yeah. bolt it again? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Just kind of throwing your cards over there. So basically, Greg plays Greg's another Greg's one. Right Jesus, <laughs> Ulrich, you just ultimately—that um, was the ultimate um, motorbug. <laughs> um, 
Okay. So, so back to this still game. Into this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is great. Um, yeah, I don't look at all those. Charges. I mean, to be fair, Greg's just sitting here, not doing much no. other than drawing cards and hopefully getting to his drakes. Uh, is that a pteromander that yeah. he just drew? One of them pteromanders. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to discover here. Dude in there. Two, we see, I think, is that another charter course and a land? I can't see from there. Definitely a land. I just couldn't see if the other one's a charter course or not. Right. Well, I think he has enough spells in this his graveyard now. Oh, yeah, that's how. Um, Terramander is definitely. Oh, it's a spell pierce. Up. Okay. So, Terramander, yeah, and then he could just activate it, right? I believe. I don't know how many cards he has. Cause well, we he's not going to activate it now because he definitely doesn't have a paste. So, he's not going to do it until at the end. Chance, yeah. Right? Well, he can he can do it. Like, I would do it when you attack, depending on what it is, and then you can just tap it. Now well, if you, do, if, he, if you don't have anything to spell pierce, you just do it on Ulrich's end step. Right? Because otherwise, you're not doing anything on your turn. Well, you can do that at any point, though. So, I mean. Yeah. If he wants to block, he could tap, and then at that point, get the counters and kill this guy. Correct. He doesn't have to do it now. It's better to just hold up and wait. Just do it on your turn if you want to an attack. Or um, maybe, but I also think because it does have flying, I think you just want to get in the five. But again, I don't. I can't see his graveyard, so I don't really know. Maybe he only has six. Maybe he only has five or something. Again, haven't seen. Can't see his graveyard. Oh, I'm going to take one off them land war beats. Okay, you know That's one thing that, that irks me when people are playing. They'll play in land of war. If no one's got anything on there, they'll just sit there and let it play. Like, why don't you attack with it? Like, Get the land war beats in, right? God. So, Every yeah. life counts. What Ulrich did on his turn was just get the growth gamer guardian, float the green off the land war elves, and then sack it to the um, pod, and then... Uh, get the Growth Chamber Guardian and then pay the two mana additional to get the to put the counters on it to go get another uh, another Growth Chamber Guardian from his deck. Essentially. <laughs> uh, so we see another Terramander and a Shack. Uh, and he's got a discard a card here. Um, Is that a chart? Yeah, discard the chart of course to your chart of course. That's fine. Now you can pay... Uh, pay one to put the counters here. And now uh, this is how this game is going. Yeah, one, way. two, three, four, five. Now see, if I was Greg, I would just leave it like that. I wouldn't play the other one yet. Uh, yeah, but I agree. It just depends. Um, I mean, because you're, Drake's, I don't know, I mean, I, I guess I still see it as a tempo style. Right now, it's better for him. Cause right, I think I'd rather things. just hold up the shock and the spell piece. Yeah. Um, so that way, because you know he's going to play this other growth chamber guardian, or you assume he's going to play this other growth cha chamber guardian here, uh, and you just want to shock it before you can put the counters on it. Uh, I believe it's two two, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm still trying to get familiar with these new cards. So. I know it'll look real good because I played Ulrich before with him playing that card, and it's horrible. If you let it go unchecked. Yeah. It is. I get it in. Four or five. A little land war putting in work tonight. Alright. So what what did he did he just did he just sack girl spellbreaker? Yes. So he's gonna get a four drop now. Okay. Huh, there's, that's a good four drop. That is. And the nice part about it is when you sack it to go get a five drop, it just comes back. Yep, and there it is. Yeah, we were talking about that before, like playing like a Bant version of this deck, or like four color, uh, to like oh, sack, just sack Rekindling Phoenix to get Lyra. And, now and then now you have a Lyra and a Rekindling <laughs> Phoenix, yeah. Like when the card was spoiled, we were just talking about like doing dumb stuff like that. My favorite thing to do right now is to have Taysa on board, so then when I have another Rekindling Phoenix, when it dies, I just get both Rekindling Phoenixes off the one. Yeah. It's pretty fun. So but that's good. definitely a better run when you have a Lyra and a 
thing. Right. That should be a deck. Yeah. Build that. Um, no. <laughs> so now you just play the the Patera, the other Pateramander. And you can still hold up for the shock. Uh, I guess he's going to try a course first. Draw two. Play your land, play Drake. That works too. That's a great draw for him right now. Uh, he definitely yeah, you just play the, 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 the Pateramander. I know it's just call him Salamander. I know it's Terramander, but wait, why is there five counters on it? Wait. Greg, what are you doing? What are you doing? There you there go. There it is. There you go. I'd say I'm proud of you, but I'm proud of you. Aww. Greg saw his mistake and fixed it. Yeah, normally that doesn't happen. No. I mean, I'd get not, it with not the 5-2. Not <laughs> from <laughs> Greg, but like, just like people. Most people just leave it up there. Right. Uh, so what what does Ark do? Just pass? I mean, what other option do you have? Yeah, because if he does anything other he than has pass... He Phoenix. Uh, what's he doing? I guess swing four? Is you there something in his hand that I can't see that would... I don't know. ...finish him to do that? Like I have no idea. What was that? I'm going to sack the Phoenix. What five drop are you getting? I don't have the Phoenix token, sorry. should tell you guys that. It's the one token I don't have because people would steal it. Yeah, because they're... Which I don't understand why. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's why I don't put the real construct, construct tokens out there. Uh, I just put, like, the fake ones. Now he's going to look through it, too, to see if I have it, and I don't. Oh, he's getting the Hellkite. Okay. Yeah, he was my last match of the night when I played Ulrich, and it was... A brutal, brutal matchup for me. Right. Well, I finally got to see my priest, though. That match was pretty good. Okay, so he's got the Hellkite out. Got the Phoenix token. Yeah, I don't know what he's... What are you trying uh, to find? Are you trying to find... Well, now you don't have to find it, because it's no. dead. It, yeah, it's the one token out of all the standard cards, that, standard tokens I have. That it's the only one I don't have. They're in, like, disbelief. Yeah, they're like, man, you have all these tokens, you don't have this one? How could you? Um, it's because people would steal them. I've had people steal tokens from me already, and, like, cheap tokens, too. So I'm, like, not too mad about it, but I'm also like, just get your own. Right. Like, they're my personal tokens. I bring them from home. Well, I'm really confused, though, is, is why would Ulrich go ahead? And, I mean, why would you want to sacrifice, knowing he has the shot, sacrifice... Your phoenix like that. Yeah. So I mean, at this just point, saw, you we just, just saw you, combat, right? Like the the Pateramander got in. Yes. One Pateramander got in, the other one got blocked. Um, and this Crackling Drake is definitely resolving. I don't know what Ulrich's thinking. Yeah. Um, There's nothing he can do. There's no effects that he can just pull off of. Wait, what Is happened there? to the other what happened to the other Terramander? Did it die? Oh, Hellkite's uh Oh, okay. Trigger ability. That's what it is. That's, we suck okay. at, we suck at magic. Yes, I was really confused for a second. Well, because I saw him tap in, but no. When he brought in Hellkite and then he was able to kill the other guy, now right, yeah. he swung in. Get rid of the Hellkite, yeah. Alright, yeah. see this is going nowhere in his favor anymore. Right. So Greg gets game one. It looks like they're going to go to sideboards. Uh, what do you think we see them bring in? Do you, do you have any ideas? Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, in the Drake's deck, I mean, he's... I don't really know what they're boarding in now. I mean, the old Drake deck in this. Yeah, I... I really don't know. I mean, you don't really need Intrinsic Melody... You might bring in uh, Exclusion Mage if he's running those, but I doubt it. In this deck, it would be a good full three drop, but I don't think you need it. Right. I'd definitely bring in Disdainful Strokes, for sure. Actually, I think that's what he's doing now. Yeah, bring in those D-Strokes. As for Ulrich, I really don't know, because I don't really know this. I mean, I played him, but like I really don't know 
his sideboard all that well. Right. Yeah. When he comes in, and he's he's a very unique builder. Uh-huh. Um, so he also he sees a lot more potential in cards than we would normally see in a competitive format, and he uses them really well. So I don't know what he's thinking here. I'm thinking some sort of removal if he's running Carnage T, which I think there maybe, but I don't think you really need it. I think you would actually take those out in this matchup. Uh, I would think so. The only reason you leave him in is like basically defense and hoping that he blocks into it. But I mean, it always does trade with the Drakes, though. Well, yeah, and it, it does. Over. But you're you're looking for more card advantage. You're looking for, to to put a, a bigger clock on him outright instead of, you know, what I'm saying like yeah. I don't know, yeah. if I was Ulrich, if I was Ulrich, I would take out, like, the birthing pods and stuff like that, your birthing pod, basically, and I would go a little bit more aggro-ish if you can here, like a more mid-range run. At it, he's got the cards to do it, to put him on a clock. Because now, instead of doing all the sacking and everything in order to try to keep it up, because it didn't work. Because all Greg had to do was continue to keep drawing, he got there, and he just had a better board state. You know what I'm saying? Right. You have to be able yeah. to beat that. Um, like personally, I just think Pod might just be a little slow. Um, I think you definitely would take him out in this matchup. The pods? I mean, that's how this deck works. Well, it's built for that. You know? Yeah, but then you, you, I would switch it. I mean, I don't know the way I would play it. I would, I would play it a little bit more mid rangey. He's got the cards to do it. Um, switch maybe. out the pods because then he's putting in rule for it. He's got, he's putting in more counter spells for basically getting rid of the pods and getting rid of. Because he's not expecting you to take them out. Right, yeah. I don't know. It's hard. I'm not the greatest when it comes to these two decks because I don't know exactly what yeah. they're playing. You see that he did not take out the Carnage Turns. No. Um, well, obviously. Yeah, it's a mulligan hand. It's definitely a hand that you mulligan. Uh, Greg keeping his hand. That's an easy snap keep. Two shocks, Ooh. lava coil. He's just got straight gas up into that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like. Arc was already at a disadvantage when he came to sit down. When he sat down, now he's even bigger because he's already card out. Right now, now he's on the mulligan. That's like looks just like way too many lands. Oof. But uh, I mean, there's not much you can do there. No, he goes down to five. He automatically he auto loses. I think. Yeah. <laughs> at this point. Uh, okay, I did not see that in his hand. He has a Pteromander. I know it's pronounced. He's got some Marinander. He's got another Drake in his hand. Another. He's got Ignite right now. And shock the. Yep. Get in for one. Man, I have the hiccups and it's really bad. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little quiet. Boo! No, no it didn't work. I, I wasn't I scared by it at all. Oh, uh, a little bit. No. I, I saw you wind man. up for it. Like, that was the problem. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> and then like then said it. So beats for one again. Puts in and and another drake. drake. Okay, uh, that's a one four. Solid one four, <laughs> but it's a one four flyer. Yeah, and he also he has a one one. There, right. Uh, so, well, he's got five lands. Okay, so we got a gruel spellbreaker. Get a counter pass. Um, I'd rather just have you him play the. Um. What kind of fancy has in his hand? Uh, instead of playing that spellbreaker. Um. I guess that's a card. Um, <laughs> but, like, if I were on that side, I would have played the Rekindling uh, Phoenix because it blocks, it value blocks either one of those creatures. Well, at this point now, if he plays Rekindling Phoenix, he knows the Lava Cool is out of the way, so he's going to be able to keep it on point. Doing Putting the Spellbreaker out there knows it's going to draw the burn the removal spell out of his hand so it's a better it was actually a smarter play on ours yeah in that way no i get you i guess i just don't go. play enough okay. cards and then what it does two, two damage any target yes so i assume he just went to the face with it because i don't know i'd rather damage. just take out the patera mander i definitely would have it's about to get real deadly oh crackling drake draw a card play my That's land I thought he picked up passed. for a second. I did too. <laughs> I was, like, I was, I was like, like, oh, are you <laughs> scooping to a Crackling Drake? Dang. I um, mean, right now he's definitely at a disadvantage. Vivian just kill, kill the Drake. 
Or some, oh no, get spell pierced. Oh no. Oh get no. It. He's like, how many cards do I have? Four? Let's put some more in there so that way I can Ooh. activate this Pteramander. Charter course. Oh, if that happened to me, if I'm Alric, I'm cussing him out right now <laughs> in my head. Yep, it's over. Uh, I don't know how much damage that is. Looks like lethal. All right. That was a quick game from uh, Greg here. Uh, So I guess we will be back for round three.